What's going on, everybody? It's Al Pod King Carter here, the Superman of YouTube. And I would like to welcome you guys to episode 9 of the Stat Sheet Stuffer's Career. Now, in the last episode, I showed you guys that I took on MJ's Bobcats. I beat him out. And Jordan actually tried to sign me to a contract, but I ended up going with Nike. So here is my first game as a starter. And I'm wearing some LeBron 10s right now, some special LeBron 10s, some custom LeBron 10s. These LeBron 10s on my feet, man, they look special. I actually built two shoes. I built a home and a away pair. So just check them out right here as I do my pregame intro, you know. Why, why not do the LeBron with the LeBrons on? That's all I'm saying. You know what I'm saying? Check the way I throw that powder, but let's get into the game. Now, you guys already know that James Harden hit three on their first possession down court. So, me, myself, I'm going to come out, try to get him back with a nice little jump shot. Now, you guys should already know that my three-pointer is not one of the best at all in the league. I'm only like a 89 overall, but I know a lot of people are probably thinking, oh, man, his three got to be on 89. Trust me, I have not touched my three-pointer. I'm still one of the worst three-point shooters in this league. You know, I only make, you know, a few every so often. But let me give you guys a little bit of backstory on why I'm a starter. I know a lot of people probably are thinking, oh, man, you got the starting spot because of your overall and the way you're playing. To tell you the truth, the only reason I have the starting position is because Aminu has gotten injured. Now, look at this. Look at me in the bottom of the left corner right now, looking like a fool, looking like they just jumped me out there. When am I ever going to get a call? But basically, man, before I started this game, I always go into my schedule, I go into my roster, and I go into my minutes to actually see how often I will be upgraded in minutes or when, when I will get better, when I will get better than any other player. And one thing I noticed is they had me in the starting lineup, not at six man. And I was like, wow, I got the starting spot after only five games. That's crazy. All I could do was clap it up. You know what I'm saying? You know how the game go, y'all. I'm better than Aminu. So I'm just cool and happy that I got the starting spot. But I'm still missing layups on the inside, even up and unders. But Anthony Davis is there to clean things up. If it's one thing that I like about the Hornets, man, I love Anthony Davis. He actually runs the pick and roll the right way. He actually scores when I give it to him in a paint. He is not a Lopez at all. And I know that a lot of guys feel my pain about Lopez. But check out the last possession of the second quarter right here. Now, Delfino, he should have made that shot, man. It's no reason he should have missed. But we're about to hop into halftime. I know that feels like it was a short two quarters. But look, man, it's 47 to 42 and we're up. I'm going to just let the halftime show do, do what it does. I'm going to sit back, relax, and watch with y'all. <laughs> Be back in a sec, y'all. And now, brought to you by Sprint. Well, it's halftime on 2K Sports. This is Damon Bruce. Let's get right to the first half breakdown. The New Orleans Hornets have the lead against Houston. They're off to a hot start this season. They'd like to continue that hot streak in this game. Offensively, they're dialed in. Guys working hard together. They're getting to their spots, and they're hitting the shots that count. For Eric Gordon, it's been too easy against the Rockets. We all know he can deliver huge performances, and he could be on his way to another. A scrappy effort by Houston. They've been working the ball inside, getting in close, easy points around the rim. James Harden has been locked in so far. He has 11 points, and he's had some good court vision, helping out in the assist department as well. And that'll do it for us here in the studio. Thanks for watching. Enjoy the rest of the game. Now, have I ever told you guys about the seesaw that happens in the third quarter? Well, check out what happens here, man. Check out James Harden. Just check him out on the left side of the court. He is abusing Eric Gordon. And I'm going to tell you why. He seems like the faster, the stronger, the smarter player on the court in the shooting guard position. Now, I know there's always been an argument about Eric Gordon being top five in the shooting guard lane. But with James Harden there, yo... I don't think Eric Gordon is able to step up to him in this game. Now, me, myself, you guys can already tell that I understand the seesaw. I understand that every time they score, we need to score. It's no problem with me having to put points on the board, but it's just I can't get my team involved. And I'm going to tell you why I can't get my team involved. I'm ass. And I'm going to tell you why I'm ass, though. It's, it's kind of funny. Me, personally, my offensive and defensive awareness is at this regular point that it was in the beginning of the game when I first created my guy. Also, my ball security is maxed out. That was one of the first things I maxed out. It was no problem for me to be able to max that out. But when I get double teamed, I turn the ball over. I don't know why. Usually with my point guard, I would have been able to get the double team 
pass out a shot, pass it to an open guy, and they would make it. But with my stat sheet stuffer, it seems like every time I get double teamed, if I try to back up out of the play, I'll end up getting a loose ball and the ball will get turned over. Like, check out my turnovers right here. I had four turnovers opposed to one assist. You guys already can understand my pain, my frustration. But what one thing that you really can't understand is that I'm still going through a little seesaw effect here. It's the third quarter. It's about three and a half minutes left. And, yes, I'm going to show you these plays that happen. One person that I can't stand is this dude, Patrick Beverly. If y'all don't know about him, trust me, man. I'm going to show you a couple clips that happen man some some things that happen in this game is just outrageous but right here man it's about two and a half minutes left i'm trying to call a post up for anthony davis right so i call a quick isolation for him he ends up passing it to me i'm like no nah, bro i want to get you involved so we go with a nice little pick and roll and there's no clear lane but check out jeremy lynn now a lot of people think oh yeah man you just got you just got a nice little dunk right there look at the block that should have happened Jeremy Lin was supposed to block that, but let's get into the fourth quarter. 2K Sports Magazine. The latest issue is now available. The Machine, featured on the cover. A breakout talent, making his mark in the NBA. So, have I ever told y'all how horrible I am on off-ball defense? Well, it shows right here, man. Did you see how I tried to cheat up to the three-point line? That dude cut back door so fast, I didn't even see Harden throw the ball. That's how crazy it got, man. But, you know what? My team is going to come back down on offense and do what we do. We're going to come right back at him. I told y'all, we got to go point for point. In order to win on Hall of Fame, every time a team scores, you either have to shoot a three or come right back on offense with a dunk or some type of momentum shot. Now, as Anthony Davis got that dunk, I don't know if you guys could hear it, but the crowd was in awe. They was like, no, no. That's what you need. In order to chill out the home crowd, you have to come back with something amazing, whether it be a dagger three or a crazy outlandish dunk. Now right here, look at me and Lopez run a little bit of post-up game. I pass him the ball, but he decided, hey, they cheating. So I hit him with the three. You know that's Carmelo jumper. You got to go get it if you want to be cash like that. Now, I'm 15 for 26. I feel as though I put up a lot of shots. And sometimes I don't want to shoot that much, but hey. It's Hall of Fame. It's all that I can do. But playing at the small forward position is so much easier than the point guard. Because in the point guard position, it seems like I'll always do all the scoring. Now, one thing that I will say, Vasquez and uh, Rivers, they do a lot for me. Even though I just got that nice little spin layup. Hey, yo. I heard you got them new Nikes, B. Yeah, yeah. You know me, man. You know I, you know I stay stunting on them hoes. You know what I'm saying? How much your contract? Millions. <laughs> Let me stop fooling, man. Uh, they actually sat us down. They knew that the starters weren't needed for the rest of the game. Um, I know a lot of people is looking at Rivers on the court. Rivers is not a starter, so of course they got the bench in. But, man, this is a six-game winning streak that we're on. And I feel as though that the coach is letting us live by sitting us on the bench, getting us, you know, settled and ready for the next game. Six straight, man. I wonder how many we can win in a row. The stat sheet stuffer is here, man. It's time to take New Orleans to the top, man. Real rap. But this is IKC signing out. I'm going to let you guys listen to the second verse from KC and They Can't Hold Me track produced by Jalo Beats. I'm going to holler at y'all in episode 10, man. Let's see what we got. Peace. Ha, I can't. This ain't the game. I'm terrorizing every team. I'm too mean. You can put faith in them lanes. But when they play me, man, they all going to look the same. And it's a shame. Like a room, we bang that all the light to get the night pop. Tweeting all my fans and let them know how much I'm dropping. Losing ain't an option. Rookie of the year is who you're watching. Play through the whistle, boy, it ain't no stopping. Pick and roll, give and go. Pull up, this is what you know. Kiss it off the glass, where's the mistletoe? In your faces, where all of these long range missiles go. I cross you over, then I dish it off. It's getting real when they forgetting that I'm fiction. No, I'm getting physical, but I work out and let the coach know what my work about. I gotta be one of the best more forwards that you know about. I'm racing up my sneaks and I'ma show out. Double team dream, make bricks out of the king uh, uh, The mamba looks like a garden steak to me I'm always hot, my Gatorade is gasoline You can't cool me down, even when I fool
starting at your position, what do you think you need to do to make that starting role permanent? Uh, and how would you grade yourself on your performance tonight? Man, I think I played pretty well out there tonight. Once I overcame the butterflies in my stomach. I'd love to keep the starting job, but that's just not my role on the team right now. I'm gonna do the best job I can as a caretaker until we're healthy.